if you're going to have all these injuries the way you have, you've got about $100 million worth of players on the DL, you've got to depend on your farm system. And what you saw in spring training in those eighth and ninth innings, now those guys are coming back to help you. And they actually got to play a lot in spring training just because we had the injuries. Guys went to the WBC, and it, it, it's proving to help us. I mean, we called up David Adams recently. He's done a tremendous yeah. job at third base. You know, we started a rally the other day that kind of broke the game open against Burley. Um, he's done a wonderful job, and it's just young kid after young kid. Preston Claiborne has done a very good job. Nuno has done a very good job, and and we called up Austin Romine, and he's catching extremely well, and has had some big hits. The big hit in Cleveland, the big hit the other night against Burley. I like that the Baby Bombers. That's a good name for him. All right, let, let's go over them one at a time. Claiborne has really been a revelation. Now we did see him in spring training. And at the time of this taping, he still has yet to give up a run. He got into some trouble in the ninth inning on Friday, but got out of it. What makes him good? What's he doing to get people out? Well, I think he's ahead in the count a lot. I think he's got three pitches that he can go to. And you think about who he faced Friday night. He went through the meat of their order, Cabrera, um, Bautista, and Kernicion, and, mm -hmm. and, and so forth. And he was able to, you know, to get through that inning. He throws a lot of strikes, and um, you don't see him walk people. He's got a very good slider and a good changeup, so he has stuff for right-handers and left-handers. All right, Adam Warren, in a period of a week, got his first save oh. and his first big league win. What's Adam Warren about? He's been brilliant for us. Since we put him in the bullpen, his velocity has went up, his curveball's gotten better, his changeup has gotten better, and his slider has gotten better. And it's not like we're not asking him to only use these two pitches. He's just seemed to develop and, and kind of relish the role and has done a good job and has given us distance at times. And this is a different guy than what we saw last spring training and the guy that we saw when we brought him up last year. All right, Vidal Nuno, his uh, major league, uh, first major league win was the five shutout innings in Cleveland. Then you rewarded him by sending him down, but I yes. understand it's a numbers thing. Then when Andy gets hurt, he comes back. Why is he a successful pitcher? Uh, another guy that attacks the zone, has four pitches he can use at any time. He'll throw his curveball for a strike at any time, his changeup. And he's aggressive. He doesn't walk people either. And so much of it is when you pitch around people, eventually you have to throw a strike. And, and you don't get as many calls when you're pitching around people and you're nibbling. So he attacks the zone and it works extremely fast. And I think that's an advantage. David Adams is a kid that waited a long time to come up to the big leagues. He got called up on his 26th birthday. He got his first hit. Only the fourth player in big league history to get his first hit on his birthday. Uh, this kid looks like he can play. Uh, he, it's been said that he's a better one. His best position, he was asked by Meredith Morakovitz, he said, is hitter. But he looks like he's done a good job at third. He really has. He's made all the plays. Uh, there's no panic down there. Uh, you see that his hands are pretty good. He gets rid of the ball extremely quick. We saw him dive to his left on a ball hit by Batista in the ninth inning or the eighth inning um, on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So I, I like what he's done. Um, you know, and we have to remember that he's a kid and we're giving him, you know, little pieces at a time, but we really like what we see. Austin Romine uh, thrust into an everyday catcher role while Chris Stewart is trying to work it out without going on the DL. I know you like him defensively. Can he hit? Oh, I think he's going to hit a little bit. I do. I mean, you and think we're what, 250 in the big league? You know, I don't know. More? Maybe more. We're starting to see his bat come to life now that he's playing more. And, and for him, something very unusual, play every fifth day. I mean, that was, that's not something that he's ever done. But you saw him get the big hit in Cleveland. You saw him get a big hit on Friday night. Um, then he got another hit on Saturday off of Morrill. So you're starting to see the ball come off his bat a little bit. Now, this isn't a baby bomber, but you guys acquired Reed Brignac. Uh, after Friday's game, didn't make it on time for Saturday. Uh, where does Brignac fit in? I know he's a left-handed bat. He hits fly ball, so you might cash in some homers. Where are you going to play him? Well, he's a shortstop, and uh, that's where he's played most of his career, and uh, he, he plays a pretty good shortstop. So it, it allows us to spell other people. You know, hopefully we can every once in a while give Robbie a day off and maybe you slide Nixie over to second and put him in short. There's just some, there's some versatility there, which we like. And you also called up a youngster, Dellen Patances, who has been a, a starter for you in the minors. And just recently you, you moved him to the bullpen. How does he fit in here? And what kind of stuff do you think he has for being a reliever? Well, we think that his, his fastball is going to play more, uh, maybe up to 97, um, you know, 98 when he starts to relax. Um, his slider is going to play more. And what you want him to do is you want him to simplify it. You don't need four pitches anymore. You know, to be a, a really good reliever, if you have two plus-plus pitches, you can be an excellent reliever. And we think that he can do that. And uh, he's a guy that can give you more than one inning, too, which helps. All right. When we get back, we are going to hear from Brett Gordon, who's done a great job in center field. His bat started to heat up as well. That's coming up on WB Mason Presents, the Joe Girardi Show, right here on Yes.